Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. And there is nothing wrong with your screen. Your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. We actually had a snowstorm this morning, snow and ice. But uh, I don't know. I'm so ready for the warm weather. I cut grass two days ago, and now it looks like a winter wonderland. But I guess that's what you get when you live in West Virginia. I don't want to take long on the intro today because I got a real dope pair of kicks. It's got a real neat inspiration behind it, and it's a collaboration between New Balance and Joe Fresh Goods. This collaboration has been coined Conversations Amongst Us. He basically drew a lot of inspiration from the importance of communication and the benefits of just communicating with each other, which I can definitely get behind. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's look at these Conversations Amongst Us, New Balance, Joe Fresh Goods, 2002 R's. So I always start with the box. This time they gave us some black and yellow. You know what it is. Uh, but we've got the New Balance emblem on the top. Here on the back side it says Conversations. And then on the front, it says Amongst Us. And underneath the lid, it says Design and Curated by Joseph Robinson, who is the founder of Joe Fresh Goods. I believe that's out of Chicago. And a team of black associates at New Balance. So more specifically than just conversations, this collaboration was inspired by the importance of conversations within the black community. On the paper, we also get New Balance branding along with some conversations amongst us verbiage. And then the box is okay, but these are some dope, dope, dope looking kicks. I really, really like these. And I saw some people that were saying they're not really feeling that yellowed aged look or whatever but the age look isn't really where it it makes it look old i think the aged look is more just the color like it's not like they made these look worn or made them look like they've been you know sitting around for a long time or anything i think to achieve that aged look all that they did was simply use a yellowish color a real pale yellow color but We'll get into more of that as we go. There on the back, there on that brown suede, you can see that one shoe says Conversations and the other shoe says Amongst Us. And then aside from that, I think both shoes are pretty much identical. But these things just came out incredibly well. I got exclusive access for these on Finish Line. And when I got through, there was only like two sizes left. This is a size eight. I wasn't able to get my size, but I just wanted to get my hands on them because I thought it was interesting. I thought the whole inspiration of just conversations and dialogue, that piqued my interest. And Joe Fresh Goods, I've, I've always got my eye on his collaborations and his work because, I mean, he's just one of the best that there is right now. And these just look fresh. These look dope. But I'll read some of the description from the actual New Balance website because I want to get it right. I don't want to tell you what all I think the inspiration is. I want it to come straight from New Balance itself because I don't want to I don't want to skew it cuz I think it's got some importance to it. And I I really appreciate Joe Fresh Goods using an inspiration. It might be a simple concept, you know, conversation and open dialogue, but I think it's pretty deep. There's there's a lot of meaning to it and just a whole lot of truth in illuminating the importance of having open dialogue. On the New Balance website it says, this is a collection that celebrates the meaningful conversations between friends and family that promote new ideas to positively affect the ongoing fight for social justice. And then it goes on to say, an age-old tradition is still alive and well. The yellowed tone of the white tells that story of the age-old tradition. So basically, this yellowish color is just there to represent ongoing dialogue. From a material perspective, they want to highlight the benefits they receive from these gatherings. 
So they used ripstop, which you can see is the base of the whole upper. You can see it there well on the toe box. So for the ripstop, that's to represent being resilient. It says they have to be transparent, which is represented by that banana colored like TPU. It's, it's clear and we have to be reflective, which is represented by the reflective there on the New Balance end. So I thought that was interesting. But then back to just reviewing the actual shoe, it came with just barely off white laces already in the shoe, but it also came with a spare set of blue, which matches this New Balance branding on the tongue and also matches this little energy branding here down on the midsole and it also came with a yellowish color a very pale yellow color and that matches this ripstop and matches the clear tpu overlays on there as well but each shoe has a bag with one shoelace in it but then starting with this outsole, you can see that we got a natural gum material. I really like the color of that. I think it goes really well with this clear yellowish material as well, but it's just a really neat looking outsole. And then through that, you can see some New Balance branding and some white foam. And then coming up, you can see that that natural gum outsole just meets a bright white midsole. And I really like all the lines and everything on the 2002 R. The 2002 R was inspired by early 2000 running shoes. It didn't come out until about a decade after that, but that's where New Balance pulled all the inspiration for this silhouette from. It's basically made to look like a running shoe from the early 2000s. But then coming up to the front of the shoe, this is probably my favorite material, this cream leather and i like a lot of things about this i like that the edges are like a natural brown color and that kind of matches this brown suede that we see little accents of but i also like the stitching is a yellow color a really pale yellow color that matches these clear overlays and the ripstop and i just think that's a nice touch then coming up the shoe this white leather it's very soft to the touch but you can see it going up the side panels and then around the heel there's just multiple overlays of that and as i mentioned before the base of the shoe is this pale yellow colored ripstop material and then you see it here on the sides a little bit and then up near the back of the shoe but then also as pointed out before it's got this clear yellowish um, TPU material as an overlay and back here on the side you can see that it says 2002 R the tongue is kind of like a nylon tongue but it's thick and it's really padded and at the top it's got more of this soft white leather with this brown suede underneath of it there we've got the reflective N with yellow and black embroidered around it we've got a cream colored insole 